All right, and uh, we're back with uh, Metal Gear Solid. After that, we're uh, we're down a person. Yeah, Hal had to not be here for personal reasons, but yeah. oh well. Don't worry, it, we, we understand, and you know, our condolences. Yeah. So <laughs> we la last time we did, we uh, we uh, we did a torture scene. After. And uh, now we'll we're, we're back to where we fought. Yep. And now we're back to where we fought Sniper Wolf. So we're just having a flashback that happened literally about an hour ago, I would say. Hour, in -game. two hours. Okay. So <laughs> a little, a little behind the scenes. You know, we get, we get on YouTube. A load of the unlisted video. Fucking like banner ad at the bottom line. Fucking video. It just says spin a fidget spinner. That's all. <laughs> just fidget spinner and play now. Uh, oh yeah, because uh, we because every fucking Konami video has a copyright thing. Also, my boy Adblock. <laughs> Seriously, every okay. Another behind the scenes thing. Every single one of our MGS videos copyright. Not strike. Not strike. Yeah. Not oh. strikes. Claim. Yeah, they're they're all claimed by Konami. You know, like that's that's gonna be a thing to it's the fine. end of. It's fine. It's I mean, fine. We ain't making shit off this anyway. Well, we don't even have monetization turned on this account yet. Listen to me. I wasn't able to protect her. In the meantime, Snake has horrible regrets. Snake. Uh huh. She's a soldier. She knows that prisoners are. Oh, also another. Um, I, I got this game story is a, a lot more will. fresh on my mind because I actually just sure recently did a full playthrough no. on my own of uh, Twin Snakes. So a lot of this thought she had to become a soldier. It's just weird it because in way. Twin Snakes they didn't get they she didn't make the uh, codec conversations full 3D like they did in she, MGS2 and Beyond. Yeah, they still they use the they still use the sprites and but they did add the fast forward feature of so hard of Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. That's not like you, Snake. Master. Master Miller. Well, sorry for eavesdropping, but I hmm. just couldn't listen. You sound anymore. awfully familiar, Mr. Master. Master Miller. <laughs> Snake, I think we made that joke you before. You regrets if you want to. I think it's so. Really natural, but you can't it's just that he's now getting really involved with in the, the story past. now. Mm -hmm. That road leads to madness. Believe me. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't a minute. legend like you. But I'm sure Meryl's just fine. But there's an entire game about Meryl. about Snake. you holding Forget those grudges. Meryl. Stop liquid. Caught him just yeah. fine. <laughs> and then, yeah. then, then, then that's your that's no, your dad same thing. doing the the grudges. Snake. Not yeah. Snake. Not not Nick. Not uh. Not Solid Snake. She's pretty special to you, huh? Yeah. The more you play MGS5, oh, yeah, the more you really special. I mean, to totally I Master Miller. Like her around. <laughs> not what totally I mean. Master Miller. She's the Colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. <laughs> She yeah, also had a really cute butt. You know, you know where you know, like you know, we're in the middle of a mission, right? And you're you kind of a. Uh... <laughs> what are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> we'll no, talk more about Rose and, and Metal Gear Solid too. I think they only said do you remember what day? Do you know what day it is? Secretary in the FBI. Uh. Is that right? Yes. Yes. He was Japanese. Why is a, why is uh, this date so important to you? <laughs> Bullshit. When was that? Oh, oh fuck, it is actually Tuesday. <laughs> it is <Where>? Tuesday. <laughs> Naomi. Oh yeah, already Naomi's found out a bunch of bullshit. Oh yeah. Well, I, I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet yeah, also, him. Yeah, also in future games, she does not have that British accent. Good luck. Kinda? Watch it's, it's more they clear. The... Yeah, they dropped the accent, but like she still has like a hint of it. Not Nothing... Yeah. It still sounds like Jennifer Hale by the end. Yeah. And, and also, you see me getting a bit worried because I, I remember correctly that there was a fucking, like, uh, they just there added... There's a gun camera in the second row. Yep. And it is, yeah, right there. Yep. Yeah, there is a gun camera waiting for you, Snake. When did they have time to install that? Uh, like, well, to be fair, this was, like, I, I think, like, it takes about two hours from the torture scene. Mm-hmm. That's my guess. That's all. Uh, also, it's based on how many rounds of torture you go to you go through too. Because mm -hmm. if I'm, do you still get tortured if uh, you, you allow Meryl to die? No. Sorry, I I'm, I have the speed run on my mind, so it's like you go through like extra rounds of torture or something like that if you use a specific glitch to skip most of the game. 
All right, so, so uh, here's the fun. infamous uh, staircase from Metal... Oh, wait. That's later. <laughs> <laughs> that's later. This is the uh, the tower climb. So this uh, part's a bit... This part's always uh, fun-ish. Not... Depends on your definition of fun. Yep. Because of... Uh... Oh. Yep. Yeah. This is a man this is a mandatory. Here. Even if you throw a chaff grenade, you're, you're just gonna get notice. Also there's the rope. Yep. Uh, that that Which... rope is important for later. <laughs> and this is when uh again this game didn't have automatic uh, opening doors, kinda. So yeah, this is where I this sore. is where, this is where I lose my uh my big boss rank and everything, so uh Oh dude. It's ne I don't I don't know how people can how can people can main can actually get the big boss rank without like do, doing the the chaffernade glitch. That's true. I'm surprised you have your FAMAS out, but I'm guessing it's cause, just because you don't want to deal with them. Mm -hmm. Plus, this I know the. Have auto -win. Yep. Plus, I know the uh, the trick of just uh, running and uh, running and gunning. Yep. Also, one of my favorite little bits of dialogue, um, not dialogue. This isn't even in the game. Um. In the in the official instruction manual for the original version of Metal Gear Solid 3, the game even acknowledges that you can like quick uh, you can quick auto like you can uh, you, you can skip reloading. Uh, that's a, that's a tactic from the first one. That's a tactic from NGS2. Is it? That's in the mine. I think that's in the manual too. They always use C4 or something. I didn't know that. From the outside. Yeah. You can't open it from the inside. Sorry, it's impossible. I mean, is it an exploit that the manual tells you? There are two walkways that it's connect a, it's tower a, a and tower B. It's a feature. <laughs> it's a feature. Exactly. Yeah, there's not much to talk about in this sequence. It's no, just we're, literally we're literally just mowing down people. Why don't you get a shit ton uh -huh. of, like, FAMAS stuff? Sadly, crouch walking doesn't exist yet. So you can't just, like... Crouch walking doesn't exist until, uh, so, like, Metal Gear Solid 4. Yeah. So. Or the 3DS version of 3. Well, that came out after Peace Walker and 4. Oh, yeah, that's right. Auto aiming is great. Yep. Thankfully, there's just a ration right there. Yeah. We eat ration. Yeah, I, yeah, I, this this, uh, this part just kind of sucks. Well, the only thing you can really do is either a just keep throwing stun grenades or b just auto start fire. or just mow them down. Yeah, it's so it's just a playthrough sake, and I really don't care for my code in this one. <laughs> this is more like just me running uh, yeah. through the game as fast as I can without like worrying too and much. Also, also keep in this game as canon as possible. Mm-hmm. Even though, technically speaking, uh, Twin Snakes is the canon version of this game. Well, I just like playing this version more than uh, Twin Snakes. Understandable. I, 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 but like my playthrough, I just kind of like the first person shooting because I like breaking the game. Yeah, yeah, because you're you're just breaking the game right there. Two headshots, uh, uh, two headshots, you immediately win the ocelot boss fight with uh, the tranquilizer. Yep. And here I we have some of that vintage just. Uh, <laughs> PS1 slowdown. There we oh, go. yeah, I saw there was a nice lag. And there we go. And now, after that, uh, we're going to go uh, take down a bothersome fly. A very bothersome fly. Thankfully, there's a ration right there. Mm hmm. Dude, it looks like it looks like your breath came out of your neck. <laughs> oh, he does have that six pack day, boys. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where, uh, and this is where they get all the cable from the satellite dish. Yeah. So they have all uh, three hundred channels. Tell me, son, have you ever heard of a sternum? <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we need to, and that's where uh, we need to go. Dude, uh, uh, dude, is, that is uh, what the whole called, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Dude, a liquid snake is nothing without his soap operas and his telenovelas. Exactly. All about how the brother betrayed the other brother. I know, right? And then just... And there goes all the TV channels. Oh, well. Dang it. You made me miss days of our lives, Snake. <laughs> I'm nothing without Downton Abbey. Damn. How will I know get through my day without General Hospital? <laughs> I'm afraid I can't let you get past here. Liquid. You're not going any far. Die! This, this is another scene that's very infamous in the Twin Snakes version. I, no, no, no! It's the it's a part later. We're not we we're we're not fighting it yet. All right. It's still in this episode because well, this is two straight episodes down. of boss fights and cutscenes. I had a rope. I should if only I had a rope. rope, I should be able to use that rope. I got. <laughs> I love that. I love that dialogue. It's like if only I had some rope. Probably should use that rope. I I, I got. Yep. And now for some, and now for some not too terribly good uh, tight uh, uh, jumping controls. Nope, they're in fact they're uh, pretty shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's not improved on the GameCube version either. For a lot of good that game, for a lot of like the good parts that the GameCube version did, there still were a few things that were kind of annoying about it. Well, the whole, the whole problem I have with the GameCube thing, with uh, Twin Snakes, is the control. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, how can we simplify Metal Gear Solid 2 to fit in a GameCube controller? That's missing a, an extra button, a select button, you know? Yeah, it's missing, it's missing, it's missing L1, uh, it's like, it's missing L1, and select and and, yeah, and the r and the r and the r bump and the r3 and l3 yeah that's right you can't click in the sticks uh, yeah there's did you not help have, have one of the sticks buttons yeah and yeah the, PS1? Wait, yeah. Wow, yeah. that's okay. actually how you that's actually that's actually how you jumped in apes was uh, r3 huh. I, I never had a ps1 growing up so uh, well, technically speaking, the early PS1 controllers didn't have the DualShock didn't exist, so you had the D-pad, so you didn't have L3 and R3 and stuff. So well, after that, it wasn't even a DualShock; it was just an analog controller, and then they made the DualShock. That's right. That's yeah, with this one, you can it theoretically, if, if you're just lazy like I do, you can just start jumping down. Doesn't matter if you really get hurt; you you kind of you can just cheese it. Oh, by the way, the GameCube version is actually made harder because you have a grip meter in that one. Yep. Oh, you're not gonna use Nikita missiles? You're just gonna go the boring route? Oh, gosh. Medicine. Oh, wait, no, it's diazepam. Uh. Um. <laughs> then, then I oh, go. You're... Yeah, then I go Nikita. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I just took a sniper around in the face. Oh, oh. Also, it's not alerted until after someone died. Yeah, yeah, they didn't get free they didn't freak out until someone died. I will say though, like I, I did love Fonzie's reaction the other night when he when he found out about uh, the integral version allows you to walk in first person. That's probably the coolest Which, thing. Like that's probably the coolest thing that you can do in Metal Gear Solid One. Yeah. Well, yeah, because all you could do is view stuff in first person. Yep. <laughs> I'm thinking, are they dead yet? Nope. No, I think it takes like one more Nikita missile. Why are you using Nikita missiles on these guys? Because it's easy. Oh, yep, and that's what I realized. Oh shit. PSG one. Oh gosh. Sniper rifle sucks in MGS one cause. Oh yeah, yeah they do. Yeah. Mm. Another thing, another big issue. Just to view your. By the way, just to view your codex in MGS uh, Twin Snakes. Uh, you have to press, press the pause button and, and then press the and A button. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. Instead of just pressing start, because start does nothing else. Like, start doesn't do anything. Pause literally could have just paused the game, but no. Like, that's my biggest issue is, like, start and A to access the codec, even though you this button does nothing. And A button's your... Oh, yeah, I'm gonna just open up it's your, this. It's, uh, your, it's your fire weapon button. Yep. There. I can now go into that, that door. Yeah, even though you could have blown it from the other side, but eh. not not in, not in game. You couldn't do that in game, but it's like the explanation is like door is frozen on the other side. Even though you could just blow it up. Let me just get this side. ration. All right, now now it can go. <laughs> let me get my food. Yep, there we go. And then let me click my card. There we go. <laughs> Another All right. quality of life. There we go. Oh, the the stinger. Can you tell me what we're gonna do? Uh, we're gonna, uh, we're, we're gonna use the FAMAS on, on the hind D. Ah, we're playing Nightfire now. <laughs> Alright, so, this part. Oh, yeah. This is a tower that's filled to the brim with, uh, with turrets. Which is, it's easier in, um, in, in Twin Snakes, you can just shoot out the, the, you can shoot them out. In this one, you can also shoot them out, but, uh. <laughs> you you shoot oh, him out with your stinger. No, stinger missile. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I show it off. But that, yep. or you just have like a limitless supply of chat. And, and you can't just casually jump yeah. down, because no. Even though I'm pretty sure, in in Twin Snakes, you have the ability to like go down little areas like that. But Snake, whatever. I'm heading you can't. What are Sadly. You talking about? There's something I've got to ask you. Well, what is it? Um, oh, well, you see, I, if I'm I, if I'm remembering right, well, I'll ask you when I didn't see you. disc one I, of Twin, wait a minute. Twin Snakes end when you got to the control tower? I think, is when that first disc ended. Either when you get on top of it or when you leave the control tower. Yeah, it's something like that. Cause I remember, cause uh, I'm trying to remember, just I, <coughs> it's been like a month since I've done. Either way, if we would have done this, but... we would have gone to disc two in this or next episode. Uh huh. So. Again, I could have done twin. Yeah. I could I could have done twin snakes, but uh, I just prefer this one version because I can just I easily get... play through this. I get it. Oh yeah. Um, uh, you, you you know you never have to be. Also, another thing they added to was uh was MGS two from another ad feature they added was the dog tags in twin snakes. Yep. Don't shoot! It's me! Oh. Don't shoot! It's me! That made a flame sound effect. How'd you get here? Mm -hmm. It wasn't as dramatic as your entrance, believe me. I'm afraid of heights. You were watching? Yeah, I was watching. It was awesome. I was riding in the back of their truck. Thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you get up here? The elevator. Which of in the <laughs> I love that. The, first the elevator floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator was working? Yeah, Actually, let's just right. take the damn elevator. Next time I'll You're stumble down the stairs. <laughs> Like a movie hero or something. No, you're wrong. You're just like in the movies. Uh, the Spike Spiegel. Ah, yeah, depends on the movie. You mean Meryl? Yeah. Sorry. Meryl's still alive though. We don't know that yet. Snake. Back true. There's something I've really got. I will. You. One. Okay. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna get into this discussion when we get to MGS2 about the whole canonicity of the ending, or at least get to the at least talk a little bit about the end of this. Have you ever? Loved someone. That's what uh, what's the name of this song again, Fonzie? No, I mean, the best is yet to come. Okay. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get the full version say? at the end of the game. I want to ask you. Hell yeah. Do you think love can bloom? No. Even on it's a like, no. Yeah. No. I do. Oh. I think at any time, any place, people can fall in love with each other. But uh, if huh. you love someone, you have to be able to protect them. I think so too. I have a favor to ask. Uh oh. This is a really well made. It'll be easy. Oh, I told you before I don't want to hurt anyone. Like I said, this game. I don't want. This to game. This this has a lot of really okay. well aged. The elevator is stopped down there. I want you to get it to move. Uh, one of them is one of the last. See. But yep. Again. Weird. That... It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. 
Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. Otacon. Yes, Otacon's one of I've my favorite characters. Oh, you yeah, feel so bad fly. for the dude I'll at the end? Like, at, at the end of Metal Gear Solid 4 and shit? Oh, dude. Like, no. okay? like, I swear, this, this Kojima's just like, hey, let's see how hard we can make Otacon cry by the end of this series. Pretty much. I just pretend like I'm not here, and then I'm not scared. Strange logic. I'm counting on you. Like, I honestly do think, though, that, like, MGS2 is when he gets the worst of it, but discussion for another time. For now, we have, a, we have a noisy fly to take out. We have an, oh, wow. What was that? That was lag. What was that lag for a split second? And now you're just, yeah, he's using, you gotta use the chap grenades to knock out the camera. Okay, never mind, that's a twin snake. Uh, because I think the twin snake's version of the radar, uh, tells you when, uh, tells you how long you have until the radar is unjammed from a, uh, uh, chap. Yep. Yeah, th this part is uh, annoying in this one because of uh, because uh, pretty much here's uh, where all your chaffering is gonna go until uh, the end part. Pretty much. Even then, like this is the only part where your chaff grenades really mean anything. Mm-hmm. And the certain section at the end, and that's pretty much it. Yep. Yep, and that's pretty much it. And, yep. And then you have to go back down this tower later. Oh, don't worry. I make it interesting when we uh once we do it. Yep. Chef All grenades, right. stingers, FAMAS. And uh <laughs> just using a ration. Cause like there's no real use to just like, you know, wasting like if you see an item there, you might as well like use an item and just pick it up. Yeah. Because they used to appear no matter what, so you might as well just use it. If you're catty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, I had to. I had to keep. I had to. I, I tried to keep the conversation going by myself because yeah. I think New Two is AFK. Yeah, so, sorry, I had to stop uh, you. I'm not AFK. I'm just a little distracted or something. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll get there. Yep, here we are, brother. Brother. From the future. <laughs> Twice. Somehow killed him twice. All right, behind D boss. Uh, this is the this is where you kind of need a um. This is the, this is the fight where you kind of need a uh, what they call a uh, stereo TV. Yeah. That or you have to pay really, really close attention to the the solid ton radar. Because in reality, in, in, yeah, because it's not. The solid, the solid sound radar kind of breaks this this one, because you can just see the purple dot. Yeah. This it, you you need a stereo TV if uh, you don't if uh, you're playing extreme version. Pretty much, but even then you can you can just always follow where they where it goes. It's not. Yeah. Because you'll like you'll always see where everything's is coming by. You'll see them fly by. This is me thinking I could go through there, but uh, I, I don't risk it. <laughs> so I just wait till uh, I miss. Don't risk it for the miss. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Ow. The stare, yeah, this was back when it's like, hey, we, you, you, got, you should get a better TV than what you got now. Because mm -hmm. uh, stereo TV, you could be able to listen in on. Uh, listen people in still on had like, like people still had like mono TVs the '98, so. And also I hit him, but yeah, it, it didn't do damage, but alright, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, because this is, um, a lot, Yeah, you know, not only was it, like, mono TV, this is kind of like the Dead Rising effect, where it's, like, a lot of people didn't have HDTVs when Dead Rising first came out, so yeah, the so text was, like, super unreadable. Yep. I remember that happened to me and my friend when we played it for the first time. Damn. 
like, yeah, the 360's oh. got HDMI cables for a reason. Behind <laughs> Well, the original Xbox 360 didn't come with an HDMI port. It, oh yeah, it didn't, did it? No, it came with a component, like, with a component in and that's it. Yeah, I yeah, just took, like, right. I just took a couple shots there, and I sh probably shouldn't have, but, uh... Whatever. Yeah, like this boss fight, you can you can afford pot you can afford taking pot shots. This isn't a hard boss fight. It's definitely a lot. It's just easier a machine. You just need to, to like in reality just hide between this thick little area and usually don't get hit. Yeah. It's surprising how little damage you take. Yeah. Cause you think you'd be taking a lot more damage from. Oh a high no, he's he's gone under helicopter. he's gone under the thing. Yeah, he's under the building. Yeah, and that's where you can see, and that's where you, it's easy to follow him with, uh, <laughs> with that. But in reality, if you just zoom out, like, and like not go first person, you can just see where the hind is going to. So. Uh huh. Like so. Also not helping. Also not helping on the Twin Snakes version. I think the Soliton Raider shows full solid objects, so it shows the tank and stuff like. So it shows like the full size of the hindy. If I'm remembering correctly. Okay. I oh might no. be wrong about that. this part. Watch out. Oh. Missiles. All you gotta do is just literally hide behind there. Yeah, you're safe. <laughs> you're so, you're you're safe from a missile from a high D. I managed to hit him though, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Yeah, you're yeah you're you're only doing chip damage for a heli uh, against a helicopter. Which in reality, well, one one hind one hind D should actually probably take down a helicopter. Like one uh, uh -huh. one Stinger missile should probably take down a helicopter no matter what. Yeah. But whatever, they but had to make a boss fight out of this. Yeah, Kojima had to make up had to do something with the hind D. Yep. Remember, everything every detail in a game he makes matters, no matter what. That's one thing I've noticed with a lot of his games. Even the smallest details come back. Like Johnny Akiba. Well, that's just a running gag in the series, right? True. So, and, and since we saw Heindy at the beginning of the game, that Heindy's got to get involved somehow. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the, there, there he is. Oh, he's hiding. Plus, you also have plenty of rations. There he is. Bear, so. There he goes. Oh. Ah. Oh wow, that actually did a chunk of damage to him compared to the other. I'm guessing this is it like dependent on what part you aim at him first. Probably. Or? Either way, if you if you just always shoot when like when you're locked on, you should have plenty of like of single missiles. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm. Oh, good, good. I, I, I've been contributing a lot. A couple things. <laughs> no, it's not fam, it's all good. This is a pretty, this is a pretty though, slow boss. This is a pretty slow boss fight, no matter what. Yeah, even even in speed runs, this is a boring boss fight. Well, I thought speed runs just skip this fight altogether. It, I'm trying to remember if they do or not. I. I need to rewatch that speed run again. Because <laughs> I, I know they skip all the way to the torture scene with that one glitch. Yep. Which is amazing, but at the same time, you have to mash. You have to destroy your index to mash. Or you know, just a calm and that's it. Uh huh. Uh, for, for speed running. Uh-huh, because in speedrunning, uh, here's the thing about vanilla Metal Gear Solid, you get HP based on what bosses you kill, based on every boss you you defeat. Yep, it's not like, You uh, don't defeat any bosses. It's not like how in Metal Gear Solid 2, you just have, you just have a max, you just have a max thing. And in Twin Snakes, you also, in Twin Snakes, you also have a max meter, right? Yep. No, this is, this is uh, going original Metal Gear 1, yeah. Uh, what were you saying, Newton? I well, imagine speedrunning. You don't care what ending you get, you get, so just get in. Yeah. Uh, you well, a normal speedrun is you ki is uh you save Otacon, but in Earthon, but at one AGDQ 2015, they they saved, Meryl. They, they saved Meryl, So this guy intensely mashed for it mashed through it, and you have a tiny, you have a very tiny amount of HP. Like, 
And one more shot, you should go down. Yeah. Well, it all depends if I actually get the shot or not. Uh huh. Spoilers, I do. Ah. Oh. <laughs> you were close on getting that last shot. Yeah. But, but then you, you went one. down too quickly. Yeah, but oh well. Thank you. And there he goes. And now, uh. Now that he's dead, he's gonna go one lap. He's gonna do a desperation check. Which, uh, doesn't really mean much. So, yeah. Like, well, yeah, especially since we've been hiding in this little sweet spot this entire time. Pretty much. Another missile. <laughs> I love how you just, like, walked through that and took no damage. Cool guys, don't look at explosion. Yep. Then, oh no. It's almost as if it got hit with 20 hind D with a uh, stinger missiles. Pretty much. And we never see him again. You'll see him next episode. Damn it. <laughs> no, you, no, you don't. <laughs> see you in hell. Damn, he can play. That, fire, that fire went really high up. Yeah. That takes care of the cremation. That, that. Fire went a little higher than uh, it should have been since he kind of went all since he went really far down. Mm -hmm. And those towers are pretty goddamn high. Even in Metal Gear Solid 2, uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, you see how high those towers were. Oh yeah. Snake, the elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Is that so? Okay. That explosion. Before, oh nothing. What was it? Yeah. Oh, oh this was the cutscene. You know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, I just had to take out That's a helicopter. Incredible, Snake. Listen, I just want to make sure. Oh. Uh, this is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being Oh, okay. Stored. So there's yeah. a cutscene that happens the after you beat the helicopter, where you jump off a of missile and fire a stinger okay. missile straight at the Find cockpit of the hind D. Yep. I'm going underground. I know. Like I know. Twin Snakes kind of takes it up to like 11. The action scenes. It just so people know. Kojima, okay. what, that's what Kojima Only wanted to make to. the scenes originally, but, you know, hardware limitation. Yep, and then, pretty much, we're done with, uh, with the Hind. Yeah, the Hind D never comes back. Nope. So, I'm just scouting here, and then, uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, there's nothing much else left. I'm just showing how, like... How like the old PS2 ways, how like to t to see a tall building is just like it's a pit of black, and then just that. Also, the thing here just went away for some reason after that explosion, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, well, uh, well, I guess we'll see you in the next episode. Maybe I'll All be right. a more active. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't worry. I had to keep a conversation by myself. Yeah, we have another <laughs> boss. We have another boss fight. So uh, stay tuned. All right.